Jackson, you say you're here to confront your husband's mistress and to prove her one-month-old daughter, Kiasia, is not his biological yes, daughter. Yes, Your Honor. Furthermore, you say, if you learn today that the child is in fact your husband's, your marriage is over. That's right, Your Honor. Yeah. Miss Lipscomb, you say that you have no doubt your child is her husband's daughter. You claim he had sex with you, made a baby, and now she needs to deal with the truth. That's all right, Your Honor. Mr. Jackson is waiting outside of the courtroom and we'll meet him shortly. But first, Ms. Jackson, tell me, how did you find out your husband may be having a child with well, his mistress? Yana, let's talk about that. I got an epiphany, call it woman's intuition, whatever you want. Well, I went to my husband's job. It was about 9.30 or 10.30 at night. And he, he approached the car. We talked for a few minutes. And to end our conversation, I told him, I feel as though there's something going on that you hadn't told me. Because he had been distant in the days prior to. I had put him out. So, Your Honor, and as we were standing outside talking, we were in the front of the building, and the defendant pops up in the car like she's Ricky Raccoon or somebody, Your Honor. <laughs> Upon hearing my voice, I turned around and I went and knocked on the window. I asked her if she knew my husband. I called him by name. She said she did. She introduced herself as his girlfriend. It's I said, not. well, hi, girlfriend, because I'm his wife. <laughs> like... At that point, your role is kind of insignificant. Like, I'm his wife, nice to meet you. So she and I proceeded to talk. She started to tell me about how they were intimate, how she lived with him at the hotel that he was presently staying in. Oh. Um, so Miss Lipscomb, upon meeting her, she told me she was three weeks pregnant. This was November 25th. He, he wears his wear, well, not lately, Your Honor, but he wore his wedding band faithfully. Well, if I see a wedding band on a man's finger, then I ain't gonna continue to talk to him. It ain't no... Maybe, I don't care what he tell me. So, at that time, she uh, told me, oh, well, he told me it was from a prior marriage. That didn't even sound right. Why would I still be winning? So, hold on. Let me just go over to Miss Lipscomb. You remember this encounter? Yes, and she's not being all the way honest. Okay, what is it you feel she's leaving out? I don't know what her intentions was when she came to that job. Why did she come up there or why didn't she come up there? Because that's my husband. I've never seen her a day in my life. I knew her voice. I was sitting up. How did you know her voice? Because when I'm around um, Mr. Jackson and she calls and the kids calls, that's how I know her voice is so high pitched. You can hear her through Your the phone. Honor. But she was always labeled as my BM, which is my baby mother. BM does not spell wife. Wife is spelled W-I-F-E. Oh, she spelled spell, Your Honor. Wow. Okay. So, it didn't dawn on me to ask, are you married now? Because if you're married now, why have you been living in a room for three to four months? And I he have a key in to your room. room. Three to four I got months. clothes in your room. I make your room she every had a day, pair every pants, night. Your Honor, I'm in his your room, room every day, every night. Pants, I've never seen this woman. I've never seen this woman. So, he never, never said my wife put money. me out? No, I never knew anything about a wife. Your Honor, she was she labeled didn't as care BM, to know. my baby mother. And he didn't have a ring on. He had the ring, but the ring was never that saying that this is my wife. Honor. The ring said this why is from my previous with a ring marriage. On? But why do you wear a ring from a previous Thank marriage you. on the ring Common finger? Common sense, fall and get some. I mean, this, this, to each his own. He wear what he want to wear. He do what he want to do. Your Honor, but AKA, AKA she trifling, at, and that's what that, trifling at females that point, do. At that point, I feel like if this is your husband and this is so you say, y'all working on your family, you trying to get it together, why is your husband in the room and not at home with you and your kids? When I met her in the car that night, like I said, she told me she was pregnant. Um, maybe a week after that, I was talking to... Because my husband went to jail that night, Your Honor. He and you I... Sent I, them to jail I was over angry bogus. enough, she called Your the police Honor. And said I was that he angry enough <laughs> and sent them to, jail. to send him to jail, Your Honor. It was room. an impulsive decision, and I understand it was not the right decision, Your Honor. Stupid. But, yes, I sent him to jail because I knew that he had um, some legal issues going on in another state. The next morning, I go to the room to find Miss Lipscomb laying in the bed crying. I like told you I was going puppet. back to the room like when you was in the car talking to me. I have belongings at that room. I'm going back to That's that room and I will said. not leave all that right, room until all right, morning. All right, all right. Bottom line, we've got a wife and a mistress fighting over one man and Jerome. I'm ready to meet this man. <laughs> wow. Hey. Watch your step going up the steps, sir.
Mr. Jackson, thank you for joining us today. How you doing, Your Honor? Oh, I am, uh, I'm still here, because I'm listening to a mess. Yeah. I am listening to a situation here. You he created it, Your Honor. And you are in the middle of it. You helped. Ms. Lipscomb says she had no idea you had a wife. No, she didn't, because I never mentioned it to her, Your Honor. So that part of her statement is true. You never told her you were married. No, Your Honor. Mr. Jackson, you are the perpetrator of this mess. Mm -hmm. Because I'm gonna be straight up. When Ms. Lipscomb first started talking, I didn't believe for one minute that she didn't really know you were married. Until you sat down in this chair and confirmed the lie. You told her. Oh, I didn't tell her no lie. I just didn't never mention it to her. She oh. never asked. I never mentioned And so you would need to learn the lesson that anything less than the whole truth is a lie. <laughs> if you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Your Honor, not only have we had conversations, before I didn't deny the child, I went and bought over 900 and some dollars worth of stuff for her baby, uh, Your Honor. It wasn't 900 dollars. Um, yeah. And you did that because... Your Honor, there's, like I told her, um, from the conversation, Your Honor, she seemed really distraught. She said that, um, I don't know how it feels not to know who your child's father is, Your Honor. So as a woman, I feel obligated woman to woman, whether it's my husband's child or not, out of the kindness of my heart, Your Honor, I understand that we all have shortcomings. So yes, I went and bought things for the baby. At that time, I believe that she had left, like she was done trying to be with my husband or mess with my husband, Your Honor, because that's the idea that she gave me. As far as I know, it went on um, it ended when Mr. Jackson went to jail. It's up and it's what okay, I knew. Okay, so let's stop that period. Pause. Miss Lipscomb, did the affair end when he went to jail? Yes, ma'am. So you have not been intimate with him since? Yes, ma'am, I have. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Jackson, what happened when you found out your mistress was pregnant? I found out when I was in jail, cause I guess the beginning of the year, her birthday time, she got sick and went to the hospital. And my wife told me that she said she was pregnant then. On her Facebook page, Your Honor, she had listed that she was going to the hospital. At that time, Your Honor, she was with another man. And I have evidence, if you would let, allow me to present it, Your Honor, of her talking about her and this other man that is Okay, so prison. this proves, Jerome, let me see this. This is... So what you're saying, this piece of evidence... It was never... ...shows a... that she was also dealing with another yes, man. Yes, Your Honor, Your she Honor, told it me was that never that a gentleman secret was that I had a care. boyfriend in the beginning. Your husband knew just like you. Your so Honor, don't act like it was a that secret the young man that I was, was dealing with anybody. Her, when she was sick, Your Honor, she said that the young man was and taking yes, care did. of and her. And your husband knows that, that too. So was, what else are you trying to prove? That it was the young man's baby. From my standpoint, it's a community baby. It's anybody's baby, because she's community shared property. It ain't your Honor. so I don't understand why you're Thank God, Your Honor, I went out... So hold on now. Let me just read this. I'm alive and healthy, and a lot of people don't make it to C-27. It would be a blessing for me. I love you all, and I'm really missing my man. So, you believe that there's another man Ms. Lipscomb has been involved with sexually... Me, Your Honor. ...that could be the father of this child? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Lipscomb, when you had the baby, was he at the hospital? Did he cut the cord? He didn't cut the cord, but he was there. So, he did come for yes. the birth? Yes. And, Mr. Jackson, did you sign the birth certificate? Yes. You did? Yes. So, if it's Your not Honor, his child, Your why would he sign the birth certificate? And even more to speak on so her Mr. behalf. Mr. Jackson, you've acknowledged paternity. Yes. Your Honor, that's why the baby was placed on my benefits. Um, this is my what military she keeps saying, that the baby is placed on her benefits, Your but Honor, I her also baby have is what? Anything for placed my child. on my benefits, Your Honor. I also have proof of that, Your Honor. Let me see that paper. Um, he automatically claimed all legal and financial responsibilities to that child because he is deemed as my dependent on my military benefits, at which time that child becomes my dependent as well on my benefits. They have not paid for anything for my child. My child still have a $25,500 and some hospital bill from the hospital. So if my child is on your benefits, why haven't they paid that? So you why don't haven't believe I received anything your child from you? is on her benefits? No, I just believe she wants to know if this is his child so she can divorce him. Don't use my child as a crutch. If you want to divorce him, divorce him. Yep. Don't use my child as a crutch. <laughs> 
This woman is delusional. The whole time I was pregnant, I'm delusional. She's where that married she was and pregnant. With my husband. I, she's been pregnant four times since I have had my daughter. Your Honor, what's well, right here that she you that I'm pregnant May. now? That's you the part me, that I was saying. I to told me. you every time, every time. Hold on, hold every on. Time. Let's get some order. Every time. What did you just say, Mr. Jackson? I'm pregnant now. I'm due May 5th. Mr. Jackson knows about it. I've invited him to doctor's appointments. Um, he and I talked about it. He said to me, "Well, I don't care what nobody thinks, cause you my wife." And at the end of the day, that's just what it is. You my wife, and I don't care what people think. Oh, so Mr. Jackson, now your wife is pregnant. That's what she says she's pregnant, Your Honor. She so now you don't that. believe she's pregnant? I don't know if she is or she's not, Your Honor. Miss Lipscomb, is, are you still in a relationship with him too? It's it's we friends. It's iffy. It's whatever. We're friends. But he's married, Your Honor. She just so, made the point of and, saying. See, she's saying, and Your Honor, she just made I the am, point of and I'm saying. I'm going to continue to say. I'm it. not the type of person that will break up a happy home. Oh, well, your, your, your home, home was married. already broke Why up, and you your home was in? not happy when she I came into the your picture. Honor, your home was broke up, and it wasn't happy no. then. Listen, ladies, and I'm being generous with my language. I don't know if you all think you scoring points or impressing anybody with this tit for tat nonsense, but you just look silly. Honor, because ultimately, he's not fighting for either one of y'all. Your Honor, and that's... he's sitting over here, quiet, just watching a, a random tennis match with two women going back and forth, back and forth, and he's sitting there with a smirk on his face, like I'm done with all this nonsense. He's a coward. So Your I Honor. don't know what. Yeah, but you carrying a coward's child. Your Honor, right, Your Honor. And you have said it 4,000 times in open court. That's your husband. He is my husband. Your husband ain't saying nothing. Right, Your Honor. This is why, because this is all you get. Even if I do say something, what's the point? They still gonna go backwards and forward. It's still gonna be taken. So, Mr. So... Jackson, look, do you believe? Miss Lipscomb's child is your child. Do you believe Keasia is your child? Yes, Your Honor, it could be a possibility. It is a yes. possibility. Yes. And yet you did sign the birth certificate yes, and acknowledge paternity. Yes, Your Honor. So you legally are the father of this child. Yes. Are you paying child support? No. <laughs> hmm. But she's on your wife's military benefits. Yes. Now, you yes. know that don't make no sense. Now, I didn't even know how that happened, when it happened. She brought I'll that tell you how it attention. happened. On the day when you doubtfully signed paternity she brought and that created to my another attention dependent. Way before then. Are you gonna raise this baby? Uh, what? I, uh, it's like what? you say, um... I'm not your wife. I want to answer. It's like you say. My Are you gonna raise doctor. the baby? <laughs> You're not gonna raise this baby. See, see, you up at, uh, up at the hospital performing. You perform it. Now, you this baby's legal father and sitting up here and I ask you, are you gonna raise her three times? You ain't answered me yet two feet away. Come on. Stop the nonsense. You see this? Yes, ma'am. That's your child's legal father. <laughs> I'm not laughing. This is exactly how lying, secrecy, sexual irresponsibility, infidelity, this is how it all mixes up to create an absolute nightmare for a gorgeous little she girl. She is beautiful. Oh, I'm talking about beautiful. She make me want another one. Yeah. Just a beautiful little girl. But what I dislike most about this situation is that we have been here talking back and forth about the nonsense, messiness that you cause you allowed him to cause, and you realized he was causing and still got pregnant by him again, and we're not talking enough about Key Asia. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Before I get to the results, if I said to you, Mr. Jackson, you could step down off of that witness stand and go stand at either podium mm -hmm. next to the woman you support <laughs> in this drama, I you wouldn't created. stand by neither one. I just stand in the middle because it's still gonna be drama. <laughs> it, it really would. Ladies, you heard that, right? Yes, ma'am. Your Honor, Ray Charles can see this. Now thing. you know. It don't even matter. Okay, results, please.
Jerome, let's just stand in the middle in Mr. Jackson's place. <laughs> hmm. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Jackson versus Lipscomb Jackson, when it comes to one month old Keasia Jackson, Mr. Jackson. You are not the father. Well, thank you. It's still over. It's still over, Your Honor. Now it's not even her husband's child. After all of this, what about this beautiful little baby? Do you know who her father is? Yes, Your Honor. Is he gonna wanna be a part of her life? No, probably not. Oh. Ladies, there's some days where you gotta put your big girl panties on. <laughs> you put them on, you do what you gotta do and figure out what you gotta figure out and you get it done, cause he's not gonna help. <laughs> what were you saying? Is it okay? That would be wonderful. She asked, could she give I'm you sorry, a hug? Kiana. And I apologize. Ms. Dixon, you are furious that your husband, Stephen, denies he fathered your daughter, Tanea. You believe because you cheated in the past, he is holding previous mistakes against you. You plan to prove paternity today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Hunt, you state you caught your wife cheating on you and you are convinced you did not father 14-month-old Tanea. You say today's DNA results will determine the future of your marriage. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. You were ordered by couples court judges Dana and Keith Cutler to appear in my courtroom after prior infidelity was confirmed in their court. Yes, Take Your Honor. Take a look. I need to know if she's cheating on me. I, I have concerns if my daughter is mine. Ms. Dixon, what do you want to prove today? I mean, I know I messed up in the past, but people change. I have a direct line to Judge Lauren Lake. And this court is ordering you to appear before her to determine if Mr. Hunt is, in fact, the father of your one-year-old daughter. So, Ms. Dixon, you admit that you've been unfaithful in... In the past, In yes. the past. Yes. And you own that. Yes, I do. So, do you understand why Mr. Hunt doubts yes, what you I say? Yes, I do. I do. Why are you cheating in the relationship? What, what happened? Um, in the beginning of our marriage... He would leave and stay gone sometimes for periods of times. I left for a month. I cheated. He had caught me, actually. Had caught me cheating. Um, in the act? In the yes. act, yes. Yes. How did you catch her? Coming home from work, and there's this car in the parking lot. When I, when can I, I approached... Say, can I say something? Okay. The reason for me cheating and when I did it, it wasn't... There is no reason. It wasn't... There's, there's it no wasn't... Good... Okay, it's, it wasn't right. I was intentionally trying to hurt him, so I was not trying to hide that I was cheating. I'm not gonna lie. Yes. I was intentionally... Okay, okay. I'm gonna to give you me. a chance to respond, but I want Mr. Hunt to finish the story yes. about what happened in this car. Yes. I so, wanna know what happened. Okay, so... So, when I walk to the car, I hear the noises and I knock on the window and she blatantly give me to look like, Ann, so what? You, you see what I'm doing? And what was she doing? Uh... Cheating. She was with the with the guy doing whatever she wanted to do. So it's your wife right. was having sex with another man in a car out front of your house? Yes. Wow. You were trying to get caught. Yeah. Because you wanted to be in front of the house, because you wanted your husband to come home and mm -hmm. catch you, because you wanted to get him back. Yep. Ooh. Goodness. So now, how soon after that did you find out that you're pregnant? A couple of months after that happened. Just a couple of months? Just a couple of months after that happened. You find I, I out you're pregnant. pregnant. Yeah. What happens? Who do you tell? Take me back to that day. Okay, do you tell yeah, your I husband? Told, I told my husband. And Because when... the due dates from the time I conceived her to the time they said I was due, I didn't sleep with him. Only... It was, that was a one-night... That was a one-time thing. Okay, but that's after... all it takes. Yep. Yeah, that's you true. You know that. That's true. So, you had sex with this guy one time out in mm -hmm. front of the house. Yeah. Was it protected? No. So, unprotected sex with this guy one time out in front of your house, mm -hmm. but when you get pregnant, do you just tell your husband I'm pregnant or do you tell the other guy too? 
I never told him. So just tell your husband. Yeah. Once she tells you, Mr. Hunt, what was your response? I, I, all the, everything else just went out of the window. I was just happy that I was having a baby girl. And so at what point does the doubt kick in? When I'm thinking about the time and I'm realizing that I, I was gone during the whole month of June. And I got back basically July 1st. July 1st and... No. She's trying to tell me that I was... I he like... Was when I left... With, he was there with me on my birthday, so... I left how the whole you, month How did June, you get back in July? Back. So... So he never left? He left, but he came back on June 1st. She might be confused. I'm really just feeling like... She might be confused I'm because really just I wasn't there, like but my brother was there. He's my past and being spiteful with it. No, and no. My His brother, brother came my brother was there though. Go. That's like my little my, brother. My, I wouldn't my let him My brother sleep was there, the so so. But but realize, Get I'm talking to her here. on the phone every day, right? And why didn't she mention this for a, a, a minute? And she's never said he anything. He wasn't even there for that. So long. are you insinuating that you believe your brother could be Tanae's biological father? It's a possibility. Oh. <sighs> wow. And you brought a witness. Yes. I'd like to hear from her. Please stand, ma'am. State your name for the court. Janisha Cooper. Ms. Cooper, you are what relation to the defendant? I'm her aunt. You are the plaintiff's aunt? Oh, mm-hmm. yes. This is interesting. <laughs> My whole thing about this case... To even insinuate she something she like never, that. She never said anything about him, like, about him cheating I don't care, though. He wasn't there, though. She, so I'm she just, just saying, let me know I'm that he was there. Well, she she just, just, she but wait a minute. Know. Wait a minute. Miss Cooper, hold on. Hold on. Miss Cooper... What's your motive? Explain to the court. Are, are you saying that you believe that Mr. Hunt's brother could potentially be Tanea's biological father? You're, you believe that Miss Dixon was being intimate with her husband's brother? It's a possibility. And why would you think that's a possibility? That's your family member. What makes you think that's a possibility? I mean, because it... She, she clearly cheated. And, I mean, he's gone. What is... Okay. If, if he's still no. there, when well, he's look, gone, why look. is he still there? I'm gonna me, take my brother me with me. Me cheating and then me sleeping with someone whose blood related to him, what kind of... Okay. What kind of... What characteristics have I shown you as you being my auntie that I'm that type of person? If I slept with somebody I mean, else you, who ain't I mean, no you're intentionally him. willing to get caught in front of your own house. Yeah. Right? I mean, so yeah. that clearly proves that you're that no, person. No, no, no. All right. So. No. He didn't even know she, he was staying there. So, you know. Right. What? You act like you caught us doing something. I mean, I didn't okay. catch you doing I'm nothing, but at the end of the day, I'm saying, but I've seen like him there. Place, the, at the end of the day, she admitted to it on couples court. She admitted this. I admitted so, to it being so a possibility a... of the guy I slept with not sleeping okay. with your brother. Okay, that's, I'm just, that's overboard. I'm trying to get all possibilities out of out of the way. Uh, uh, and uh, you so do that believe that it's a possibility that your brother could be Tanea's biological yes, father? Yeah, it, it's a possibility. I'm saying, I, and if not that, then it's a possibility <laughs> that they slept together. And if that's not the case, then uh, I need an apology on both ends. Oh, I'm on, on, about on my both ends. All right. Well, Miss Dixon, you brought a witness as well, and I'd like to hear from her, ma'am. Please stand. Please state your name for the court. Katisha Dixon. And what is your relationship to Miss Dixon? Her mother. Okay. Now, who do you think is Tanea's biological father? Stephen. You do. Mm-hmm. And you believe that without a doubt. Without a doubt. Why? She looked just like him. And I tell my and mom And then everything. by saying it's the brother, no. It's suspicious. You just need to stay and mind your own business. That's what you need I, to well, do. Well, you put me in the business, I'm all the way here. Clearly. Ain't nobody put you in there. You being well, nosy and stuff, you act like you've seen them doing it. So, hold on. So, Miss Dixon, what? I want to be clear. You don't believe your daughter had a sexual relationship with her husband's brother. You don't no. believe that. No. Do you believe that there's any chance that the other man could be Tanea's biological file. No, because it don't add up. The months don't add up. All right, well, let's get all the cards laid on the table. I want to hear from Mr. Hunt. Jerome, can you please escort Mr. Hunt's brother into the courtroom? Yes, sir. Let me go up to the witness stand right next to the judge. Mr. Hunt. Yeah. Thank you for joining us today. 
I have a few questions for you. There's been testimony thus far that indicated that you were staying at your brother's house while he was out of town. Were you staying there with Ms. Dixon? Yes, ma'am. Did your brother, Mr. Hunt, know you were there at the time? No, ma'am. There's also been testimony that indicates that you potentially could have gotten into a sexual relationship with Ms. Dixon and could be Tanea's biological father. Do you believe you are Tanea's biological father? No, ma'am. Do you admit to having a sexual relationship with Ms. Dixon? No, ma'am. You did not? No. So, Ms. Hunt, what is your relationship like now with all of this doubt? What, what's happening in the relationship? Um, I mean, we have times where we're good and we're... <laughs> We had a steady float, and then it'll take something as small as that don't have nothing to do with the baby or anything, and he'll go off. But I know what it's I know what it's about. I know why, you know. So that's why I decided to come here to just get this out of the way, no. get it done. Look, so I that way, look, I, I, look, I can't, I can't sleep. I hold my daughter, and instead of me loving my daughter and looking at my daughter, I'm analyzing my daughter. I'm looking at my daughter like, is this, like, is this my baby? Instead of me taking the time to care about this child, I'm taking the time to, to, to look at this child. When I'm up at night, I'm staring at this child, not because how beautiful it is, but is this my child? I shouldn't be looking at my child like, is this my child? And, or, or, or looking at it, and, and, and she's smiling back at me, but I'm studying, like, is that my smile? And saying, oh, that's a beautiful smile. I'm saying, oh, well, like is that my smile? So, and that's what really what this is about. I need to know. So you're physically mm -hmm. present, but you're not emotionally no, present. Mm -hmm. No. And your mind is always somewhere else. Yes. And this doubt is basically permeating the fabric of your marriage and also the relationship you have with this beautiful, innocent baby. And that's got to hurt. Yes. Because these are the golden moments. These are the early months where you're just so excited and the reason why you can't take your eyes off of them is because you don't want to miss anything they do. Mm -hmm. Yes. But instead, you're analyzing physical features and everything she does to see if it in any way looks like you because you have that much doubt. Yes. And, Ms. Dixon, you say that you know you've had a part to play in this. Yes. If this is what comes from cheating, I just want to get past this and prove to him <clears throat> that I never touched his brother, that that's his daughter, and for us to just go forward because we've got past the cheating part. But what keeps bringing that up is the doubt that he has about his child. So if we can fix that, then we can fix our marriage. Instead of acting like a woman that was married, I was acting like a teenager or someone who didn't know no better. But I do. I do know better, and I just want to get better. And you're hoping... And you're hoping that ultimately these paternity results will save your marriage, will help mm -hmm. you get your marriage on track. Save my family. Uh, it's no us going forward without this. It's not because it's not fair to her. It's not fair to him. Have you thought about, Mr. Hunt, what will happen if you are not Tanea's biological father? Yes, I think about that all the time. And I can't get past that. Like, I don't... like. I need to know where, where, where I stand with her. It's gonna be just basically bad to the point to where I would have to leave. So this marriage is truly on the line yes. today? Yes. Mm. All right. I think it's time we get you the answers. Okay. So we can see where to go from here. <laughs> Thank you, Drew. You're welcome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Dixon versus Hunt, when it comes to 14-month-old Tanea Hunt, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Chris Hunt, you are not the father. Mr. Hunt, how do you feel about hearing that news? It's great. I, 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 I mean, 
Lawrence. I love my brother. I just needed to know and get that out of the way. And Understood. The next result reads as follows. In the case of Dixon versus Hunt, when it comes to 14-month-old Tanea Hunt, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Stephen Hunt, you are not the father. Daddy. You are not the biological. No. Father. Who the daddy, Janae? No, it's, it's no possibility of nobody else being her, her dad, except for the guy that I cheated with. But the DNA doesn't lie. Do you know how to find the guy from the car, the one you purposefully had sex with? Do you know where he is? No, I don't know. Well, this is really, this is sad. I mean, this is, this, is, this is a moment because it seemed like you two had just been through so many ups and downs, and yet you remained committed to just trying to figure this out together and work through these trials and tribulations. Mm -hmm. And this is not easy. You've developed a relationship, I see, with Tanea, Mr. Hunt. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like at this point you can continue to try to work on the marriage? Yeah, I, now, now, now there's even so much more questions. Like, I, what I'm going to do, start bringing all my kids up here and just start testing them off. And, and these are things I'm going to think about. And I, I'm, I swear when I cheated on him, I didn't mean to hurt him like this.